everyone. Thanks for watching again. Today we're just going to paint something easy, something relaxing. Some roses and a little white dove with a love sign on it. The paints I'm using as deco art paints, uh, the mulberry, the white and um, the festive green. And that's all I'm using. The brushes I'm using is a quarter a quarter angle and a, a Zen uh, fine liner, just fine liners, zero fine liners. We'll start with the roses first and what I'm going to do is load the brush up, the angle brush up. I use a paper towel a lot on this one too. Just take it off, put it on, take it off a little. And then I'm just going to scrub around there a little bit of green. Just a little background. There we are. Now we'll wash the brush. And then we'll load up with the the mulberry, it's a pretty colour there. And all I want to do is just put in some shapes. Just roughly. What I'm working on is it, just a piece of canvas board that I bought from the, the art shop. I've painted on it before in some of my other videos. So we're just roughly putting in a shape of the rose. I'll only put two in in this one. And you can use any colour you like for your roses. I'm getting low on colour so I've got to use what I have. So now I'm going to load up with the mulberry. I'm going to pick up in the point just a little wide blend. Both sides, turn your brush around. So, and then I'm going to start at the top, put the top area, okay. Load the brush again the same way, blend. And then we'll just close it off, just pat it in, close it off, come back to the chisel. Load up again. I'll move that around so you can see it. Sit up on the chisel, push it out. One of my earlier videos um, has these roses in it, so you can go back and check. And then just pat it in. The more you do, the easier it becomes. Just practice, practice, practice. We'll just chop a couple of little bits in there. Now I might come back later and just give these a couple of little highlights again because the, uh, the velvet does soak it up. There we are. Now we'll do this one. Same way, blend your brush, close it off. If you've got enough paint on your brush, you don't have to go back and load it up again. Frame, sit up, pull it in. Just take your time. There we are. Just go back again and just highlight that a little more.
when you go back, make sure you've got the two colours on the brush. Your base colour plus your other. Okay, now I'll let that dry, we'll move on to the, the little bird. Make sure all your pink's off. Now we're going to go up with the white. Flatten your brush off. Now we don't want too much paint on, so I'm going to take it off on the paper towel. Just a little. And very lightly, I'm just going to drag it, see, like so. And the head. And we're going to allow that black velvet to come through as a shadow. Just a bit of a dip there. So at the moment, I'm just base color. And sit up on my chisel, pull it in. Here, pull that in. I haven't loaded my brush up for a second load yet. This is still the first lot of paint. I'll move that around. Here. I may have to load up now, so I'll go back into the paint, take it off. Because I don't want a heavy. There we are. I'm using the chisel plus the flat. See the flat? And then come up on the chisel. I'll go back into the white again. Take it off. Just get this to cover. There you are. I hope everyone's busy painting as a Isolate, good for the soul, makes us feel good when we paint. I can lose myself in it like most people would, you know, when you're painting. Load up again, take it off. Yeah, and then I'll just pull out. Just highlight his tummy a little. My white, take it off. Just give that a little bit lighter there. It's better to build it up rather than put it heavy in one one coat. Sit up on the chisel, bring that in a little chisel, and then chisel. Okay, I'll leave it at that for a minute and then I'll come back in the next video, okay? Enjoy doing that much anyway. Catch you later, stay well and safe, bye.